Hello guys, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. We're in day three of spring, year number four. Just waking on up. My lovely wife with my beautiful little son, Otmar. I spent some time last night building the house over here where all the stumps were. I'm not quite sure if I like the placement of it too much, but it's not that bad, honestly. It kind of lines up with those over there. And the house is almost complete. I had to make some planks last night. Uh, did not have to go and get logs at all. I We actually had plenty of logs, but I did turn a lot of those logs, 45 of them, into firewood. And the rest I had left over, I went ahead and turned to planks. I'm going to have some extra planks left over, which is good. There we go. Our house is now complete. Um, I hope everyone's up in here because whoever lives here, yeah, the house is coming down. Uh, Kenemir and, um, yeah, Munta. Munta, uh, you, you may have to step out because I'm going to demolish your house here. Can I demolish it before I kick him out? Is that a thing? Uh, yep, they're going to go down. So I got three people without a house, but it won't take long. Let's go ahead and destroy this building because it just never looked good from day one, did it? Oh, sorry, I think I just hit you in the head with a with iron hammer. He's looking at me like, dude, what the heck you doing? I got a wife and kid here. Yeah, 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 you're, you're fine. Boom. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of this, this little gravel path here as well. Ah, looks better already without house, with that house already gone. All right, let's get in here quickly because uh, people are going to be upset. Uh, you're homeless, but not for long. Assign house. Got one house available. Yeah, move them all in there. We're fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone's going to be fine, right? They shouldn't be homeless. There we go. Now they're over here. This kind of opens up this area a little bit. Yeah, you can see right where they're staying. That's where the house was. And now I should be able to put maybe one or two more houses here, which should be good. My house, I think, in the future is going to go up, go on and go up further up here on the hill. Kind of like the king and queen of the of the village. Um, we don't get the bison around here. Yeah, we don't really don't get a good view of anything either. I don't know. Maybe I'll build it down by the river, kind of like I did in uh, the first series. But then I built everyone's house around as well. Um, how are we doing around here? It looks like everyone's going to work. I had a little bit of food last night before I went to bed. For a minute, I thought I saw a little duckling there, but that actually is a mushroom. All the animals are coming out to play. They all look happy. Oh, yeah, they're all thrilled. Let me go ahead and put my hammer away. I don't need that any anytime soon. So the first two days of spring, yep, we got the farming all done. But I'm, I was thinking after the episode and I was editing the video, hmm, might be time to see if I can make a 16 by 16 field and maybe get rid of these 8 by 8s. But I don't know if I got the room for it. That's the thing. I kind of want to put my fields down here by the river. And I was thinking, I think I got room over here to do it. I think. I'm not sure if I, no, it's actually it's pretty tight in here, isn't it? I'm not sure if I'm gonna get, I can get a um, 16 by 16 field here. It's not what I want to do. I want to build, farm, uh, field. So just out of curiosity, uh, it says I can do that. How far up can we go? That's six. I don't think I'm going to get up to 16, am I? So already there's something in the way. Oh, there's a tree there. That'd be what's in the way. All right. Um, maybe I can do a 16 by 16. So a 16 by 16 kind of comes up to here. Yeah, the pathway might be might be a little bit of an issue. Uh, so I'm not too sure about that. I may have to build like a, a lot of small fields, which is fine. Because really the cabbage field that we have here is definitely sufficient enough to feed our village. Oh, that's what I want to check on. How are we doing uh, wood-wise? We're doing fine. And of course, food-wise, I don't think food has ever been a problem around here. Um, I was also wondering, yeah, we can build up 40 buildings, which is well within our limits. So, yeah, the cabbage field that we have here, as long as we plant it twice, which is spring and summer, and harvest it, and, of course, summer and fall, that's enough to feed our villagers and also sell some of the pottage to go ahead and make some cash. Our flax field is doing well enough. Our wheat field is fine for now because I really don't... I don't. I haven't unlocked flour or anything like that just yet. So, all in all, our farming fields are good, but it's good to start thinking of expansion later on. So, the one thing I do want to do today is we're going to come in here... And we're gonna have we're gonna grab some flax right here. Uh, do I want to grab all of it? Uh, I'm gonna grab like 350 of it. I'll leave my workers in the barn to do some of this work. But I want to thrash this 
that's close enough. I wanna go ahead and thrash this and sell all the extra flax grain that we got left over, bring some cash in, which is always good. Plus, I'll, I'll, I should get some farming. Hey, watch it, watch it. Excuse me, coming through. Um, but I also get some farming skills myself. Um, apparently, today, I'm gonna to use a hammer <laughs> to, do, to do the flax. That is kind of interesting. Uh, who knew you could use a hammer? I mean, I guess it kind of would work in a way. It does the same thing. But I'm going to be here for about six minutes staring at the screen while the hammer is thrashing away for flax grain. And then once we get done, we're going to head up to, I think, Rolnica. We'll head over there. They got enough vendors over there. Sell some of this stuff over here. Uh, bring what I can carry. I think that's what we're going to do. Try to bring a lot of cash because pretty soon we're going to be able to create a fold. And once we create a fold, I want to be able to bring in some sheep. And of course, maybe just a goat to start with. I don't, that's a lot of cash right there. That is a lot of cash. So let me hammer away. Let's get this flax grain done so we can go up and sell some grain. Even though it is showing that I'm using my hammer, it's not taking away any durability on it. So, yeah, the game is just a little bit confused at the moment because I have the hammer in hand. But we're just about done with the flax grain that we uh, brought over here. Ah, that was a lot of hammering away. Uh, new building unlocks, sewing number three. So that was in crafting. So I think when I do this, apparently I'm crafting, not doing any kind of farming work, which seems kind of weird. Let's go to technology. That is in crafting, isn't it? I do believe so. Um, sewing number three, correct. Uh, I think that might unlock. Oh, yes. The, the pouches, the simple large pack, which will allow me to carry. Oh, where is it? Um... Wait, 1.5 kilograms? No, okay, sorry. Uh, 20 uh, kilograms of weight. And right now, we got the one that lets us carry... Where is it under? Uh, this one lets us carry 15. So, I might go ahead and unlock that and make them. Or it might be cheaper for me just to go ahead and buy it and not buy the blueprint. Uh, no, what, no, I don't want to do all that. Let's come in here. I kind of forgot. I think I still got the planks on me, so I need to dump those off. Uh, the straw will keep as well. Yep, planks. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. The stocks. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of those. And flax grain. A whole bunch of flax grain. Flax stock. What do I do with flax stock? I forgot. I thought that would turn into straw. Apparently it does not. Uh, how are we doing on rot? Not much rot. Uh, manure is piling up. Logs. Okay, we're doing well. I uh, keep an eye on the logs because I'm looking at, um, you know, exactly if I want to be building today. So 389 units of flax grain sells for, well, it says 10. My guess is I'm going to be able to sell for four. All right. So what else can I bring on over to sell that I do not need? I actually got a torch in here. I did not know I had a torch. Uh, simple bags. I may need those. And I, I really have nothing else to sell currently, do I? Absolutely not. Hmm. How much iron do I have? 41. Okay, not too bad there. Limestone's getting up there. Linen thread. All right, I pretty much got nothing to sell other than this. But it's going to bring in about a good amount of cash, I think. Speaking of cash, how much do I got on me? 11.74. That's not too bad. All right, so we're going to leave the village to the villagers for now. We're going to head up over to Rolnica go ahead and sell this grain because I don't need it and then like I said I, I, I don't know if I want to build a fishing hut or not or wait until it gets upgraded but by me building it will unlock or get us closer to at some point having the mine so by building cutting down trees all that yeah that goes into the building mode and while we're crossing the river let's go ahead and get ourselves a drink of water perfect And just strolling up here and sell as much grain as we can. I wonder if he's going to be out in the field. I would assume he is. It's the middle of the day in springtime. So you think he'd be out there in the field planting some crops. Just keep my eye out for a wolf. I don't think it's until late evening that the wolves actually come down and here to hunt the rabbits. There's always rabbits in there and I think that's what the wolves are going after. Do I have any side... I kind of forgot. Do I have any side quests going on? I do not. All right. 
Um, anything going over in Rolnica? Nope, not so much. Uh, there's a side quest in Gasto. No, it's not a side quest. That's Alwyn. And there's one way up in in uh, Hornica, which yeah, we're not going. I'm not going that far. So not many side quests this spring. I don't think. I think I took care of my villagers, and that's about it. Oh well. Not that I really need the dynasty reputation, but I think it kind of helps out in diplomacy. I think it does. And I might be wrong in there, but uh, I don't know. Is he out here working in the field? Nope. Oh, wait, there you go. I think that might be him right there. Yep. According to the compass, it is. All uh, right. Uh, hello there. Show me your wares. How much cash do you have on you? Okay, you got you got quite a bit. Uh, let me go into here and flax rain. So it sells for four apiece. So if I, uh, no, uh, I want to sell more than that. And 13.24. Didn't sell all of it, but uh, it's good to see the money going up. Oh, uh, might want to put the hammer away. Do you have a minute? Have you heard any good gossip lately? Uh, have you seen the noble passing by? Uh, let's try the gossip. All right, he likes gossip. Um, how have you been lately? All right, he likes that. It's always good to get in good communication with people around here. And, oh, well, let's ask him again. How have you been? All right. He's <laughs> um, and gossip again. So we went from 55 to 85 so far. He's like, I want to talk anymore. Yeah, uh, I think we talked enough. Let's put the hammer away so we don't scare people. Um, where is she located right now? I mean, any one of them will do, honestly. Why, why are they all looking... What's going on in this direction? We're all, we're all gazing in this direction for some unknown reason. Tamira, how are you doing? And how would you like to buy the rest of my flax grain? I think you would like to. There we go. So now we're up to 2,700 coins. That's good. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, okay. It must be misclicking on the button. The hammer keeps popping up. And now she's teleporting down here. I would move too because I'm wielding a hammer. While we're here, just checking around to see what we got for workers. Uh, as we all know, three seems to be the highest. Um, I mean, she's a good, uh, she's good at fishing. Oh yeah, we did talk to her before. Do you have a minute? How have you been lately? All right, so uh, she doesn't seem too interested in that. Nice weather we're having today. All right, a bit too warm for her taste. You're not going to like summer then, are you? Um, how, uh, let's try gossip. All right, she doesn't like gossip. Okay. All right. Uh, let, uh, pardon me there, dude. And I have not talked to you, but let's see if you have a minute. Now, I've been told a couple times, it says, always ask how they've been because it always works out well. He's at 50%. I've never talked to him. All right, so that worked out well for him today. But I've seen it not work, and I'm pretty sure some of you will agree with me that we've seen it not work. Nice weather we're having today. Um, how original. Okay. All right, he doesn't want to talk anymore. That's fine. And, oh, I've talked to you many times. Uh, we'll talk to her again. Nice weather we're having today, don't you think? How original. Most people here in Rolnica don't really care about the weather. Um, I'm, I lost some points with her, but it's not that big of a deal. She is good at diplomacy. Maybe that's why it's hard to talk to her. And she's kind of even keeled and everything else. Um, but she would make a good fisherman or fish woman, I guess. And farming skills, not so much. Uh, but she's also good at crafting. Well, I say good. When I mean good, that means that she's at level two, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so I came up here, got her money. Uh, I got to talk to some people. Actually, how am I doing in diplomacy at this point? Skills, diplomacy... 383 out of 1,000. So it's going to take me a while to get up to level 5. Yikes. Uh, technology, farming. Ooh, wait, 2373? And the fold is at 2,500? We are almost there. Almost there, and we're at 3,500 out of 5,000 for the mine. So ways to go on the mine. Uh, one way to get there, like I said, is to build. Yeah, we don't need any pigs. Uh, oh yeah, sheep. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, when it comes time to sheep, where do I go? And this click, clicked on in my brain, like, hey, stupid, your 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 wife was running a fold, so you know exactly where to go get some sheep. Actually, we're going to get some little lambs because, yeah, we're going to buy them on the cheap. Buy them, buy them young. 
buy them young. All right, so what time of day is it? Three o'clock in the afternoon? I am thinking about building another house so I can get, well, more villagers. I want to prepare ourselves because there's always a possibility someone else getting pregnant and then losing another, uh, someone else to another job. So I want to get some more workers in because we're, like you saw, we're getting kind of close to having a fold. So I'm going to need a farmer, which I believe the farmer is in Gostovia. Hmm. I think that's where I was talking to a young lady there where she was a level three in farming. I think it was Gostovia. Yeah, we'll call it Gostovia. That's where well, I'll probably end up going because that's where I believe that that's where she was from. Um, don't want to be cutting down any trees around here. I don't think so. I think we're fine. I think our woodshed workers are doing a fine job of gathering some wood. And the good thing is I already made 20 planks. So out of the 70, 72 planks I need when I build that house, I got 20 of them. So still a long ways to go. So, yep, in, a, in the next episode, we'll have tons of flax once again. And our barn workers can go ahead and take care of that. We'll have cabbage as well. And, of course, we'll have some wheat as well. So we're going to do a lot of farming again next episode, day one of summer. And that's probably going to unlock our fold. So it would not be a bad idea to get some logs and let's go squeeze a house in. But before we squeeze a house in, because I'm trying to get them all done as we go along here, let's go ahead and grab... Some more limestone. And my hammer is just about had it. Meaning it's probably going to break on me soon. So right now, this is currently my house. Or some would say it belongs to my wife in a way. There goes my hammer. I should have just grabbed... I knew my hammer was weak. I should have just grabbed another hammer when I was in the storage building. Uh, hopefully we have one. We do. We do, we do, we do. And I got to put that back in my hot bar. There we go. We're all good. And upgrade. So getting the mine, as we talked about before, it's going to be kind of key for us because that also allows us to buy the blueprint to be able to put a stone wall around here. And that's what's taken up. I don't want to say most of the weight in our storage building is all the stone that we have there, but... Yeah, once we start using stone, that will definitely free up our storage. Uh, luckily, we are not that maxed out on the storage as of yet. We're kind of close here and there. But I'm going to take some of this weight out again because, yep, we're going to grab enough logs. Um, how much firewood? We should have plenty of firewood. 180 firewood. That should last a while. And where are we here? Logs. All right, let's grab all the logs. And do I want to grab some stone while I'm here? Sure, I can grab about uh, tw oh, 20 kilograms. That's good enough. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to squeeze in two more houses here. Yeah, we can do that. All right, house, house, house. Space it out just a little bit here. I think that will be good. And I can sneak one more in here, I hope. I may have left a little bit too much room in between these two houses, but I wanted that birch tree to stay there. Don't ask me why, I just wanted it to. Um, yep, gonna go back to building, and yep, we gotta do this whole thing of, that's a solid wall, but stone. This is a door, a door. Did I do this door? Yes, I did, okay, all set. Uh, yep, yep. And of course, the most expensive roof that we can come across. There we go. And actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and pound this out a little bit. Make it look a little bit like a home. Uh, yep, I did that one already. So that needs to do that and that. So luckily, I've done this enough at this point. I know exactly what I need to be doing, I think. And this is where I screw up, right? Because now I'm bragging I know how to do it. And that needs to do that. And, yep, that's good. That's good. And that is good. All right. Let's grab some stone, get out of the storage building. 
take some weight out of there. So this is helping getting towards more for the mine, like I said. Uh, let's see, I can carry, yeah, we'll just say 40 kilograms-ish by building. So when I build the fold and build the fishing hut, I, I'm, I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to build the fishing hut or not, and I can't figure out if I want to or not. Because building the fishing hut number one is this, you know, eventually I want to put fishing hut number two up. I guess I could do the smithy and also the sewing room. So we got these uh, level threes unlocked. So I could actually do those. But the thing is, that will put us really, really short in logs. Because right now we don't have any logs. And just like I don't have any stamina. So I may just have, I'm just made to build this house and let the woodshed workers get to work and start stockpiling up what they need to stockpile. Um, am I done with stone here? How much more stone do I need? Uh, wait, I still got some more stone on me. Okay, hold on. That's if I need four, 12, 16. 16 more pieces of stone. I hope I got it. Of course we do. Stone, stone, stone. And actually, we're we're just shy of 900 kilograms out of 1,500 that we can store. So we're doing pretty good in the storage building. I'm hoping we can stay that way until we unlock storage building number three. And then we'll build that building somewhere that can tear down the store, storage building number one. Which is made out of sticks and straw. But sticks and straw, we got plenty of those around. So it's not going to be too hard to repair it when it needs it. All right, we'll walk back to the storage and save on some stamina. Then he runs. I know I can't. I can't help it. I'm always running. All right. Uh, I know you guys grabbed a few more logs. Well, one log and planks. Well, they made ten planks today themselves. So that's almost. That's almost half of a uh, half of a roof. So now the villagers know something's up around here because I'm building another house. They're like, oh, someone else is going to be moving in soon. That's right. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now if we can just gather more limestone, get these houses insulated. Yeah, we should be fine. Like I said, I think this season and year number four... We're probably just going to build one more house, put it here. Which means a total of four more new villagers. We'll find work for them. That's just not going to be too hard. I can always throw some in the barn. And the main thing is, yeah, I think I need to upgrade to the smithy building. Because right now we only got one worker in there. And by going up to smithy building number two, I can get two workers in there. That just means making iron tools a little bit quicker. And that just means being able to sell a whole bunch more. But not too bad for day one. Is that a free... Is that a plank up there? That I can grab, or... Is that supposed to be up there? I don't remember. Ah, I think it's the peak of the roof. I get it. I get it. Alright, so we are fine here. We gotta learn to put the hammer away. Alright, so how are we doing in here? Yep, three, three geese. They're all fine. Still three pigs. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, nothing showing here of status like uh, they're expecting anything. <laughs> so I don't know. And I don't know. I thought I read somewhere and I might be getting mixed up with Farming Simulator and Seasons on that. I think the pigs may live to be around, when they say they're around four years of age. You may want to sell them. Uh, someone let me know in the comments below if you know. Same thing with the geese. Uh, I got to find that stat somewhere. To see how long the uh, the average lifespan of the animals are in this game. Because I kind of forgot. So yeah, eventually we're going to put the fold here. Which means extend, expand the, the gates in here. We'll have to tear these down. And the stable. I think the stable is big. Uh, I know it's bigger. So I don't know where I want to put the stable yet. I'm not too sure. I may actually... If I think my fields are big enough, I may want to put the stable. I got to leave this space open right here. 
This is where storage building number three is going to go. Then I can tear down this one here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why I want to put the stable just yet. Actually, right in here would not be a bad, uh, bad place. Although it's a nice flat area for farming, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure. Not too sure. But a good day is of work here on the third day of spring. I think I'm going to call it early, head to bed, wake up in the morning. And yeah, we'll venture on out into the world. Hopefully sell some more stuff. Uh, get to work on maybe building this. Maybe we'll take our axe out and go chop down trees ourselves just to get this done. Because, well, we got all the stone done. I just need some logs and, of course, planks. Always planks. That was the longest nights of rest I've had in a long time. Long, long time. Omar looks fine. Alina looks fine. Oh, wait. Don't I have a skill that I need to reset? Where's my skill? It Was it farming? Uh, yep, I'm at level 10. All right, let's reset our farming skills. She can help us out. Uh, can you help me with something? I need to rethink my talents and farming. I, I don't know how she does it. I think she just smacks me in the head and I... The, my skill points fall on the floor and I can pick them back up and <laughs> reset my skill points. Uh, what is patience? Slower animal husbandry tool durability loss. That's not going to matter to me because I won't be the one doing it. Careful farmer. Slower crop cultivation tool durability loss. Yeah, let's go with that because I got to put a point into tier one somewhere. So it's either patience or careful farmer. Um, counting sheep. I'm not going to do the shearing. Reduce the number of seeds needed to sow vegetables by 20. So let's go ahead and put a point into that. We'll come back to that in a minute. And seeds to sow grain. Yeah, we'll put a point into that. Faster milking. I won't be doing that. Night Rider. I mean, do I need to put a point in that? Because people are saying I don't need... Unlocks the ability to, ri to ride horses. Um, I'm I'm going to put a... Mm, mechanics on availability. I want to point it... Put, blah, blah, blah. No, I can't put a point into that. Won't even let me even do it. Um, all right. Um, less stamina for plowing and harvesting. Yes, please. So I do have four points left over. So let's go ahead and do two here and two into that. And I used all my points. If I do need Knight Rider to ride a horse, then we'll just reset our skill points again and take a point out of something else. All right. With that being said, do I have food on me? That's the question right now. I do have food on me. We're all set for food. Uh, do I need to get rid of anything? No, I'm all set there. I'm carrying a little bit more weight than I should be carrying, it seems like. What is the weight? I got the shovel and, and on me I don't need. And that's it. Uh, the, I know you saw the pickaxe, maybe. If you saw that, don't worry, because we're headed to the mine. And the reason why I decided uh, quickly to head to the mine... Um, whoops, wrong buttons. Um, yeah, if we go in here, we do have a good amount of iron. We're down to... You know, we were at like 40-something, 40 41. So they're using about maybe a dozen iron ore a day. Now, the thing is, yeah, they got plenty of iron ore for today. And they're going to start getting low by the first and second day of summer. Well, we're going to be doing some farming, of course. Because the wheat will be ready. The flax will be ready. The cabbage will be ready. And I'm not going to have enough manure. I'm going to have to go out and probably buy some more manure to make fertilizer. Yeah, because right now we only got three pigs. And right now our animal breeder... Um, I don't know if it's Merrill, but he has a skill level of two. I don't know which one's doing, and Waldemar is a skill level of two. So both of them are skill level twos, so we're not getting much, you know, they're not producing much fertilizer because they're not that talented as of yet. Yeah, everyone's gathering around here. Uh, I'm waiting for Tavern 3 to unlock so I can build that, and then we'll go ahead and I'll put like a picnic table... Uh, benches, fireplace outside, and so maybe more people start gathering around there. But let's head up to the mine. I got food with me. Uh, not really much to s I was thinking, oh yeah, we're going to go around and sell. I don't know why I said that. Because we didn't have much to sell yesterday. So just the flax grain is all I sold. So I need actually to head over to the river. I need to get a drink of water from the little brook that runs down through here. And I got food on me. Uh, what is my overall weight? All right, so I can carry... Uh, well, let's just say 40. 
Can I say 45? Yeah, I can say 45. 45 iron ore is what I'll be able to carry. Over this hill will be a little bit of a stream. Uh, now we'll have to walk because we're out of stamina. Oh, I did not check my pickaxe, so I got it. How much? Oh, 100%? Oh, we're fine. We are more than fine with that. So, yeah, get the, get the new house built. And then probably upgrade the smithy to smithy building number three. And then get two workers. One that's good at farming, one that's good at crafting. Where am I going here? Over here. Yeah, so we can get one ready for it to go into the fold. Because I think the first day of summer, once we start doing that harvesting... I don't have my pickaxe hot barred. There we go. Yeah, so once we start doing some of the farming on the first day of summer, I think we'll get high enough to be able to have a fold. And like I said, also upgrade the smithy so we can start getting two workers in there and double the production, I guess, give or take. Yeah, we're just here for iron ore. Don't really care about the stone or the salt. So a couple days or a couple episodes ago, we were I was in here mining and I showed you that little that little uh, path that went down kind of steep. And someone said you cannot come back up that path. They don't think they tried it, and I think they said they couldn't get back up to it. But there is a way out of there. So if you happen to go down, you got to swing. Swing around and eventually you'll find your way back out. Getting a lot of good iron ore here early on already. Uh, did I say 45? I think it said 45. Yeah, 45 is going to bring around 50, 40, yeah, 53 kilograms. But I probably should look at buying the bigger backpack if I can do so. And, or see how much it costs. See how much a vendor will sell it to me. Or... If it's that expensive, I might as well just unlock it and build it myself. Because I don't think it has a wear... I don't think it actually wears on you, does it? No, it's still at 100%. Um, will they change that? I have no idea. Not a clue. And I just saw that backpack is worth 400 So I'm going to guess the other backpack I want to buy is probably going to be like 800 Which means I probably have to buy it for like 1000 but you'd rather buy it for a thousand than spend two thousand for the blueprint and just make one. Now, if it comes to the point of this material starts to wear, because you gotta remember, this game is still in early access, so they're gonna, you know, I don't know if they're gonna change the wear durability on some of this stuff. So if if this material does start to wear in the future, then getting buying the blueprint and making it is worth it. I know I saw iron ore fall out somewhere yeah, and I did read, read the comment about um, and, I, and I forget about using the sense to find the stuff on the ground but still at night time it would still be hard to see it and you know me I'm always out of stamina and we need stamina to do the, the vision so that, that kind of sucks uh, I've been picking up iron ore not paying attention what am I at for weight 27. Okay, we got a little bit more to go. So like I said, this should set our workers good for a while. And of course, it's kind of fun to come in here and do this because shortly we will have a mine up and running. And once we get a worker in here, I pretty much won't be needing to come in here and do any of this work, honestly. Unless I get a really, really bad worker at a skill level number one. Where did the iron ore go? There it is. Pick that on up, please. Thank you. So I can get 10 more. For a little while in the first series when we had a mine going, we had one worker and they were doing, they were just barely keeping up. But after they leveled up, we had so much iron ore, I didn't know what to do with it. I mean, we were making so much iron stuff and it was uh, weighing down the stock room, storage room a little bit. So I'm most open when we get back today. We'll grab hopefully enough limestone to finish up my house that I'm currently living in. Get a house all nice and insulated. 
And hopefully also there's enough logs to finish up the house. Not the roof. I'm just talking about oh, 43. That's good enough. Yep, that should put us at... Hey, you know what? I, I, I can get lucky. I can get lucky. So the most iron I see in a deposit when it jumps out is three. And I can take at least three. All right, two's, two's enough. Because if I can pick up another two, I'll be overweight and I won't be able to run. All right, let's put that away. Go back, put this in our inventory, and yeah, I may have to grab my axe, go out into the woods, and chop down some more trees. Just to get the job done. I, like I said, there's no one up here with any side quests. No, nope, we're all set. All set. Not that taking a side quest on the last day would be a smart thing to do, but... I tend to do dumb stuff like that now and then and forget, like, oh, yeah, that's right, it's the last day of the season. Don't be taking quests. Everyone working hard or hardly working? I have no idea what they're doing, but looks like most of the people are headed in to do some work. Now let's go dump this on in here. And while we're in here, we'll grab some limestone. 18 of it and only four logs, but um, okay. I mean, how many logs are they gathering per... They should be gathering more logs than that, I thought. Woodshed number two. They should be gathering four, almost four logs an hour. Hmm. Not quite sure about that. That seems a little bit off because... They've been working for like about three hours. Unless, yes, they're gathering logs, but then they gotta take the logs... And turn it into firewood and other stuff. Maybe maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. Alright, this should make my wife a little bit more happier. Because we're insulating the house. A little bit more. And that's all good there. Alright, so we just need another six limestone. Let's put this back into building mode. That's kind of satisfying. Let's get the door done. There we go. All right. Uh, I might as well grab an axe and let's go see if I can find some decent trees to chop on down. Anyone see any trees anywhere? I mean, I guess I could take these down. It wouldn't matter. But I really don't know if when they chop down trees, do they consider that cut? And they can't go cut that one tree for a while. I don't know. Let's come way out of their range up here. and Let's grab some of these oak trees over here. Uh, my axe is a little bit worn, so probably chopped down enough just to get enough work done, I guess. Leave the stumps here so the trees regrow. So summer should be a busy season for us because we're going to do the farming. And like I said, I think that farming is going to help us unlock the fold. And maybe by then I'll have enough money for some sheep. Although it looks like we're doing pretty darn good for that matter. Hopefully our tavern people are making some pottage. Of course, they're probably making like three a day, which is just enough to feed me really. So that's why I got to go ahead and make pottage once in a while. Because potage is what's bringing in most of the cash. But we're getting to almost to the point in the village to where... You know, I won't have to make the potage to sell. I can just go ahead and sell whatever they're making. Especially if I get smithy building number two up. And we got two people making iron tools. Can, you, can we... Are, are you done... Rolling around so I can chop you on up. There we go. This should put me... Yeah, there we go. Sorry, sorry. I should be almost overweight here. Alright, let's get the hammer out. And I should have enough logs to get the base of the building done. Then I can take the rest and start making some planks. I mean, the fold is not really necessary, honestly, because 
I mean, yeah, that's for wool thread and I can make a certain amount of clothes. I kind of hope that as the game develops that our villagers are going to request like certain amount of clothing. And it'd be really interesting and fun if they can make NPCs from other villages come to your village and want to buy things. Instead of you having to go sell t at their village. How many logs I got left? 15? I should have enough to do this. And of course we gotta do this. And one log there. Did I get here? Yes, I did. Okay. Just enough logs to finish up what we need for logs. Uh, that doesn't need a log. Okay. Let's come over here quickly. And then I can make a whole bunch of four planks out of it. Well, four is better than none. And oh, almost be able to finish this side. Let's see. I, I think they, I'm sure they made a couple planks today, right? At least two. Tell me there's two in here. Tell me there's two planks. All right. Actually, there's eight. All right, so we almost got the house built. Let's see, I still got my pickaxe, right? Have I been around to gather up some limestone? I don't think I've been having much luck getting limestone from these rock piles, right? But since it's the last day of the season, I may as well gather it. Well, okay, I got a rock out of it. Uh, this rock is depleted. I don't think it depletes by my guy going around doing it, right? Alright, we'll get some rock out of here. Can I get some limestone? Hey, we got some limestone. Not a whole lot, but it's something. Oh, I said stone pick up. I thought it meant, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. no, that's depleted. Actually, I think there's one spot up here somewhere. Yep. This is why I, this is why I can't build a bigger field around here because of this thing right here. I'm not getting much limestone, am I? not a big deal. Are you getting much limestone? I'm pretty sure you are. I'm pretty sure you're having better luck than I am. No, I can't. I can't pickaxe any of this. There we go. Two limestone coming up. Alright, uh, maybe not. <laughs> so, that's a rock. Oh, come on. I just want to finish my house. I just want to finish my house. That's all I really want to do. And that's depleted. I don't remember doing these, so I'm wondering. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's, I don't think the workers actually will deplete the, deplete them at all. All right, let me grab the hammer. I'm just trying to finish up my house just to, just to complete it and not have to worry about two more and eventually a third one because like i said i want to be able to sneak another house in there but that won't be until probably fall before i build another house because i need to start saving up the logs and such for the fold and also upgrading the other buildings when i say upgrading the other buildings i gotta tear them down and rebuild 
All right, so he's got he got he's getting more limestone than me. It isn't worth me going out and getting limestone. Oops, going the wrong way. He's getting it much faster than I am, and I am filthy. All right, so my well, well this is my house, but it won't be in the near future. Maybe actually distant future. It's gonna be quite a ways, but that that's all insulated. This one's all insulated, and of course that means less firewood required. Put that back on build. And put the bone arrow away. We don't need that. But I'm kind of glad we got that house build. Snuck that in there and tore the one down that was here. That was just, just not really a good area to have. Um, I don't think I got sticks on me to build a path. Do I? Or maybe I don't need any sticks. Alright, so I kind of want to... How far away do I have to build from that pathway? Uh, let's just build it like out to here Kind of like that And turn green soon, please. Thank you There we go Like I said, hopefully yeah, I should be able to sneak another house in there. It's gonna be a little bit tighter than I wanted it to But I just want to get rid of that birch tree Plus, it leaves a little bit of a pathway in here, which now I can put down. Let's go ahead and put a pathway here. And we'll sneak it out to here. Kind of like that. Somewhere in there. Right? Yeah, I can always change up later on. Not that big of a deal. Actually, the pathway is right here. And we'll come to here like that. And then come over to here. Like that. There we go. Getting pathways around here. I don't think the NPCs are actually using the pathways. They just walk in a straight line to where they need to go. But it would be interesting if they start using the pathways and they can travel faster. That'd be that'd be kind of interesting. I would like to be able to do some terrain work around here, but I don't think that's going to happen at all. How are the geese doing? You gathering feathers and eggs? You seem thrilled. And you seem thrilled picking up manure. Speaking of manure, I am filthy. Ooh, and I am hungry. I am losing uh, hit points. My health is going down. I'll just have two because, yeah, when you change seasons, everything regenerates. So no sense of wasting pottage. And I should probably go put some of this pottage away so it's not my inventory when the seasons change. And I lose a lot of the spoilage on it. Let's go ahead and put them in there. Speaking of pottage, how are we doing? Oh, we're getting kind of low on the pottage. Are we out of cabbage? Not even close. Not even close. So this is the cabbage from last year and it's still 75% condition. Um, we are doing good on the food front because, yeah, we're only at 267 weight out of 700. So that's pretty good. Uh, probably what I need to do is I need to go ahead and make cabbage the rest of the day. And that's not fun to watch. So I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Yeah, it's almost quitting time for everyone else anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and make some pottage, put that in storage. Everyone be good to go. And I can start selling some pottage again because we're going to need it. Going to need it soon. Um, how soon? Well, farming level, another 60 points. Another 60 points, and we can have a fold. So, yeah, I need to get those planks on there, build a fold, and get a good farm worker over here to take care of the sheep. I think the sheep are, or the young lambs, are like a 1,000 apiece, I think. Don't hold me to that, but I think. And when I think, I usually get myself in trouble. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in Medieval Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.